What's up guys, welcome back to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at the brand new updates to the Twitch highlighter that have just been released today in fact. Uh, they were announced back at TwitchCon uh, but the feature has actually become live today and it makes it so much better if you're creating highlights from your Twitch streams uh, for offline content to help you grow whilst you're not live streaming. Now the Twitch highlighter has actually been out for a while, but previously you've only been able to create highlights as one single segment of your live stream. With this new update to the Twitch highlighter, you can now combine several different segments of your live stream into one highlight, effectively editing highlights from a stream together into one combined clip. We're going to be diving into the full feature overview, how you can use it, why you should be using it after a quick message from our sponsor. The HD60S from Elgato allows anyone to easily record and stream at up to 1080p 60fps from a PS4, Xbox One or Nintendo Switch. Simply connect your console via HDMI and your PC or Mac via USB 3 and you're good to go. Find out more using the link in the description. Now you might be thinking why would I want to be spending time editing together highlights of my stream? Am I not doing enough by streaming three or four days a week already? Well the truth of the matter is you need to be spending time after your stream editing together the highlights of your stream because these VODs, these videos, they work for you whilst you are offline. The way this works is that if somebody arrives at your stream when you aren't live streaming, they obviously see your offline image, but they'll also see in the top right corner a link to either your most recent stream or your most recent video. You can let that video be a highlight reel of your last stream, effectively showing this person that's arrived at your stream all of the best bits that they missed last time you were live streaming, and that greatly increases the chances that they're going to follow and look out for your stream next time you're live. You can also, of course, share these highlights on your social media. Places like Twitter and Instagram are incredible places to share highlights uh, of your gaming moments, of your live stream moments, and every single like and retweet you get there is effectively opening up your network and your potential audience, more people seeing the best bits of your live stream. To make your life even easier and to prevent you from potentially having to sift through hours of your own live stream footage, Twitch has a feature that they introduced last year called Stream Markers. When you are live in your actual Twitch live dashboard, you will see a section called Stream Markers. When a specific moment happens in your stream that you want to uh, remember and you want to add a stream marker for, you can simply click the Add Marker button and it will add a marker at the current timestamp. After you've added these stream markers, they will be visible in the highlighter tool that we're going to get to in just a second, which makes it much easier. You're not going to have to sift through all of that footage. You can see specifically the highlights or the, the stream markers that you created whilst you were live streaming. There are actually a few different ways that you can create markers. They don't all have to be done from the Twitch uh, dashboard. You or your editors can type in slash marker and then a description if you want to, and that will also add a marker. Another way of doing it if you are using your mobile phone to monitor your stream is you can add stream markers through the Twitch app. Finally, if you have invested in a Stream Deck or a Stream Deck Mini, they of course have an integration to adding markers at the current live timestamp whenever you press it, which makes it super easy because you can just press the button on your Stream Deck whilst you're live and you know that that moment is then marked when you get to the highlighter so you can easily find your highlights. So actually how you use the new Twitch highlighter is if you go to your Twitch dashboard and you come down to video producer, you should see a list of all of the videos that you've produced and all of your last live streams. If you come to the live stream that you want to create highlights of and you come across and click the highlight button, it will take you into the new highlighter. Now let's quickly go through the interface here. In the top left, you have the highlight queue. This is kind of like the render queue of a, um, of a traditional editing software. It's basically where all of the separate highlights that you want to produce uh, go before you actually publish them. So we're not going to spend too much time on this section, but in the top right you have your source video. This is the full VOD of your uh, live stream. So however many hours you were live streaming for, this is the full amount. You can see this live stream that I did was 2 hours 51 minutes. This is where you're going to be previewing exactly where you want to set your in and out points and actually watching back the edit that you have. And then down in the bottom you have your timeline. This is specifically where you're going to be setting in and out points for the individual segments that you want to highlight and put together. Uh, you also have some controls for zooming in and out and displaying uh, any markers that were made on the stream. So to use the new Twitch highlighter, you just need to scrub through and find a point roughly where you want to start your first segment. 
Um, so just any moment that you remember or if you have stream markers in your timeline, you can obviously skip straight to those. Uh, I'm going to look around this section a little bit earlier, um, around about here, yeah, and then hit the play button and watch through this. Now, I don't want this whole thing segmented. I just want to get the points where, you know, you get a kill or some sort of highlight. And in this example, I'm just going to create highlights from a match that I won in Apex Legends. So I obviously don't, don't want to get the bits in where I'm missing shots. Uh, I want to start this clip just after this person dies and uh, shoot across at this person. So what I've done there is I've clicked the start segment at playhead button. You can also use the hotkey alt and less than sign and that has moved the start of the segment to the point of the playhead. Um, I now want to end the segment there. So you can see I have a nice little yellow section here of the timeline, uh, which is the in point and the end point that I have just set. And to do that, all I've done is been clicking these buttons, start segment at playhead and end segment at playhead. And if you want to, you can come in here, uh, zoom in and uh, actually drag and change the in and end points that you want. But that is effectively how you create a segment. And the idea is with this new update, you can create multiple segments from one live stream and stitch them all together into one highlight. So find your next segment that you want to start the highlight at. You can also scrub through here on the on the timeline rather than the actual source video preview and find the section that you want to start the next highlight at. Here you can see I'm in another fight, so just go back a few frames and I'm going to start a new segment here. Now it's key that you don't press uh, here to start a segment at the playhead. You actually need to add a new segment first. So click the plus icon, that will start a new segment at the playhead. Uh, watch through the clip and find the bit that you actually want to end the segment at. So this is just a, a little fight with a couple more people. And when you get to the point where you want to end the segment, you're going to again hit the end segment button or alt and greater than sign on your keyboard uh, just to finish that segment too. Now keep repeating this process throughout the whole of your live stream, finding the exact segments that you want to be stitching together in your video. Uh, a quick note, if you ever need to delete a segment, you just make sure that you're highlighting it. You can tell which one's highlighted because it's yellow. So click on it to highlight it and then come up to the remove selected segment button here and that will actually remove that segment from the highlight. Now that you have chosen all of the segments that you want to include in your highlight, you can come up here and use the preview all segments button and this is gonna play back all of the segments that you've chosen uh, without the bits in the middle that you've chosen to cut out. So this is going to be exactly as the highlight video is going to appear. So uh, watch it back. Feel free to go back in and make any changes, you know, drag things a little bit shorter or, or change things up however you need to to make the highlight exactly as you want to. But once you are happy, you can come up here, name your highlight, whatever you want to name it, and choose the game that is being featured or the Twitch category that's being featured and then you can click publish highlights. Now Twitch will take a couple of minutes just processing and actually uh, creating the clip for you. In the meantime, you can create, you know, or you can rename the title, you can add a description. Uh, you can also upload a custom thumbnail, which could be interesting because as I said before, this is gonna be the video that is shown when somebody arrives at your Twitch channel whilst you're offline. So if you get a nice custom thumbnail there that really entices people to go and click to watch this highlight video, uh, that's certainly going to drive more traffic. But if you're going to be doing highlights for every single stream that you do, creating a thumbnail probably isn't the best use of time. There's probably things that you could spend your time on to grow your stream that would be a better use. So completely up to you as to uh, whether or not you want to use a custom thumbnail. It will generate one for you uh, just based on the video that you've created anyway. Now, once your highlight video is published, you might notice that there is a share option up here where you can share it to social media which I definitely recommend doing, but I actually think there's a better way of doing it. If instead of using the share button, you instead download uh, this highlight, you'll get an actual video file that you can then upload to Twitter or to Instagram. And that's much better than using the share dialog because the share dialog will just copy a URL. And when that appears in a tweet, it's not as engaging and it's not as likely as people are gonna uh, actually watch the video. Whereas if you download the actual physical video file and upload that then to Twitter, you'll get a much nicer preview window, it'll auto play if it's below a certain length and people are much more likely to engage and watch your highlight reel. Now I think this is just great that Twitch is empowering users to be able to create more offline content for all those moments where they're not live streaming to still gain and grow an audience. But there are a few improvements that I would like to see Twitch make to the highlighter tool over the coming months. Firstly would be the ability to be able to add segments from different live streams. So Imagine the scenario where you're uh, trying to do a full walkthrough of a game and it's going to take you five or six live streams to actually get through that game, but you want to create a highlight video at the end of it. 
currently you can only create highlights from a single live stream so you can stitch together certain points from that one live stream but i'd like to see twitch add the ability to be able to add segments from different live streams and edit them all together into one highlight another limitation that i found is that you have to play back the segments in the order as they appeared in the live stream so you can't rearrange things take a segment from the end put that at the start of your highlight or anything like that they have to play back in the order that they appeared in the live stream finally and probably the biggest feature i would love twitch to add to the new highlighter is the ability to undo if you made a mistake the specific mistake i kept making is when you want to add another segment you would click the start segment button rather than actually adding a second segment first and what would happen is when you click start segment it would take your previous segment and move it all the way across because you technically didn't add a new segment um, I mean that's probably just uh, something that I need to learn to do but I made the mistake like two or three times in a row and it was super frustrating not being able to undo the mistake uh, just to go back and correct what I had done. I had to actually physically go back, create the segment again. I've been lucky enough to have been testing this uh, new highlighter for the last couple of weeks so I know that Twitch is dedicated to improving it and hopefully they take some of these suggestions on board. So now my call to action for you guys is if you're going to be using this new Twitch highlighter tool that's been released today come and share the clips that you create in the Gaming Careers Discord. We've got a channel completely dedicated to sharing Twitch highlights and now with this new highlighter tool it's going to be easier uh, to create better highlights by stitching together multiple segments. I'd finally like to say thank you guys so much for the 150,000 subscribers we've reached here on Gaming Careers and also for the amazing response that we've had to the previous video about OBS version 23 and all of the new NVIDIA improvements. If you haven't yet seen that I will link it up here in the top card uh, but it's been getting an amazing response. I've been really uh, taken back by how incredible the community has responded to that video. As always, a massive thanks to my patrons. These people keep this channel running by supporting me and what I'm doing in creating these tutorials every month. Uh, and subscribers, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.